Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to deploy an anomaly detection algorithm with a default model monitor. Now I got to warn you guys, if you don't do this exactly, you'll get an error and you'll be trying all day. Okay, so here's the usual. Bucket name, import the data, model equals the original df, clean the data frame, fill in a in case there's any nuns, test train split, and then we get down to the container, random cut forest. That's not where this gets tricky. Where this gets tricky is, okay, so we're only going to train on train data, but you can uh, you can do validation as well. PD concat equals train data. Train, train, train. Upload the file, and then here's where we go. S3 input train equals SageMaker S3 input. The bucket. Because this has to be a certain way. And then the content type, you have to do label size equals zero and text CSV as well. And then you absolutely have to do distribution equals sharded by S3 key. Now, of course, do the same thing for uh, validation or test however you want to write it off. But Okay. And then uh, here's what you do. The output path. This, you can do whatever instance you want. but And then uh, make these parameters. Whatever your uh, train shape is, this is going to be your feature dim. And then do precision recall F score. This is up to you based on the size of your data. Mine was a huge amount of data. So that's why I chose that. I fit it. Now, uh, the reason why this trained so quick was this was technically a, a data set meant for something different, but you can do anomaly detection on it as well. It's a credit card data set from Kaggle. It's mainly for classification, but you can detect uh, anomalies as well. It's a very big data set. Okay, then the default model monitor. We got to do data capture, destination, wherever you want it to go, deploy at this instance. There we go. And here's where we go to computing. Since this is NumPy and this is a big data set, yeah, you want to reshape and then. Uh, Whatever you're trying to predict to NumPy. You can either do, you can also do it this way, but as you can see, this is a humongous data set, so it'll probably get an error, that whole data frame. It'll, invoking the endpoint, it's too big. I don't have that high of a usage in this account. Now, some accounts, you can predict the. Uh, Gigantic amounts. Okay. The default model monitor. Here we go. And then there's the baseline. Okay, guys, as you remember from last time, this is to establish ground truth. I used the original data set itself. See Hadoop and Dag. And the reason why I chose 31 right here is because it's the number of features. Want them all to show up. OK. 
Yeah. Now, I could have made that data set, but this is just for... Okay, so you create your monitoring schedule. Name it whatever you want. I don't even think it's still got an execution. Schedule, but and uh, this is what you do whenever it's time to execute, it'll do it. And those things are still computing up there. So that's it. Now let me go back to uh, where it gets tricky. A lot of people online were complaining from what I saw on uh, Stack Social. Yeah. Wondering how the hell they could train these things. Label size equals zero, but here's the thing. you got to upload it at the same time. You can't fit it. You see what I mean? How I uploaded it? And then the train. And then I fit it. Okay guys, that's it.